Hello students, in this video we'll discuss Monte Carlo integration. So let's let f map 0, 1 into r be a continuous function. So in particular this function is bounded. Then we're going to let u1 through un let u1, u2, un be an identically distributed independent collection of uniform 0, 1 random variables. Okay, what that means, it means that their PDF, their PDF, probably density function, is what? Is g of x, and it's just going to be 1 if x is between 0 and 1, and 0 otherwise. Okay, that's what the PDF of these uniform distributions are. Okay, excellent. In other words, these u1 through all the way through un are just random draws, independent random draws of a uniform distribution on 0, 1, which means I'm selecting a sort of at random a point uniformly from the interval 0, 1. Okay? And then what we're going to do is this. We're going to consider now, okay. consider Sn, which is 1 over n, f of u1 plus f of u2 plus all the way down to f of u n. Okay? All right, so let me look at any of these indep any of these random variables over here, f of uj, right? So what's the expected value, for example? The expected value of f of uj for any j between 1 and n, between, it's going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of the function against the distribution dx. But g of x is just 1 on this range over here, right? So this is just simply just the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx, right? So in some sense, I want to know the question is, how close is Sn to the integral, to its expected value? To, because the expected value of Sn, therefore, is what? The expected value of Sn is going to be what? It's going to be just 1 over n times n copy of this, so the expected value of Sn for any n is going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx, right? So this is an important re result. And so I'd like to know in some sense, what's the convergence of Sn as n gets very, very large to this integral over here? So now let's use the following inequality. So recall, we're going to recall the Chebyshev inequality. So recall, this is the Chebyshev inequality. Okay, and that says the probability that a random variable x deviates from its expected value bigger than a parameter lambda is less than or equal to the variance of the random variable x over lambda squared. That's our Chebyshev inequality, okay? And so now what, I'd like to estimate the variance of this thing over here. So what's the variance of any one of them over here? So the variance of any one of the particular f of uj, so the variance of f of uj is just going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x minus the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx, so call it f of y dy quantity squared dx. In other words, how far away is the function from its average value, okay? That's the variance. And of course, now I know that f is bounded over here, so this is just less than or equal to some constant, right? Because both these things are individually bounded by a constant, so continuous functions on a compact set are bounded by a constant, so this variance is just bounded by some number m, right? So this is bounded. The variance is bounded. And that's what we're going to need over here. We're going to need a bound on the variance, and that's where the continuity of the function comes into play over here, right? I can, I can make a weaker assumption on the function f, but I have to make more conditions on these invariance calculations, okay? Good. Like in a, I might make an L2 assumption on the function if I want to reduce the continuity assumptions. Great. Okay. So now what we're going to do is now that tells me that the variance of Sn, since these are bounded, the variance of Sn is going to be, I can pull out a 1 over n squared, 1 over n squared, and then m times n, so this is going to be m over n. The variance of Sn is m over n. Great. So now, let's apply Chebyshev to this Sn minus the integral from 0 to 1, right? So now by Chebyshev, what can I say about the probability? So I can let, let's let epsilon be greater than 0. 
be a small parameter, the probability that Sn minus the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx, that's its, that's its expected value, right? This is the expected value of Sn, okay? Bigger than or equal to, let's say a constant c, that's a constant, times n to the negative 1 half times epsilon to the negative 1 half. Okay, if I look at this quantity over here, by Chebyshev, this is less than or equal to what? This is less than or equal to the variance of Sn. The variance of Sn is going to be what? It's going to be uh, no more than this, right? So no more than this, no more than this, right? Those are inequalities, right? No more than m times n to the negative 1, m times n to the negative 1, over this quantity over here, so the constant c squared times n to the negative 1 times epsilon to the negative 1, right? So now at this point, I'm going to choose c, if we choose c, to be equal to m, right? m, the square root of m, m to 1 half. If we can make that choice, I could choose it for any c, so for that particular choice of c, this becomes what? This, the m and the c squared are going to cancel out, the n to the negative 1 and negative 1 cancel out, it just becomes an epsilon. So we've just shown, this is the big result of this, of this theory, the probability that Sn minus the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx is bigger than or equal to m to the 1 half, m to the 1 half, and then n to the negative 1 half, epsilon to the negative 1 half is less than or equal to epsilon. And so what this shows is this shows over here this function Sn over here, this, this random variable, converges in probability to this integral over here. So in other words, Sn converges in, prob in, the, prob in the probability sense to the, as n goes to infinity to the integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx. And that's the basic idea behind Monte Carlo integration. If I can simulate a uniform random variable between 0 and 1 independently n times and average those values, that will get closer and closer and closer to the actual integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx, which is the average value of the function over the interval. Thank you very much.